Darren Levine here to show you my earliest impressions of the DJI Phantom 3 Professional, which is the same as the Phantom 3 uh, Advanced, except for the uh, camera functionality and one other little thing or so. So, I have been having way too much fun with this thing so far. I've flown it a handful of times, and I'm really quite impressed, and I'm happy I stayed away from uh, quadrocopters for this long to let them mature a little bit, because obviously they're still considered pretty new technology, and they're finally refining them pretty nicely. There's some interesting ones out there. Okay, first thing, DJI. You couldn't include a dollar lens cap? This is a tea light I put some foam in to protect the lens, because the thing doesn't come with a lens cap. $1,300 and no lens cap, that's just silly. So get on that, DJI. Uh, so, as you can see, the gimbal right now has the lock on. A lot of people, myself included, this piece of plastic, once we opened the box, just fell right off. It wasn't actually properly attached, but you do want to keep this on properly attached for transport so it protects the gimbal. The gimbal itself is just remarkable. I just, it's no joke. You do not need any editing stabilization for almost any shots that you do reasonably well. And by reasonably well, I mean, you know, I'm not flying it like a maniac. You can set this up in the air, even in, you know, little bits of wind, and it can achieve what looks like a locked off tripod shot or very close to it in some circumstances. So it is just a really, really impressive gimbal. I'm still over the wall about it. And obviously you've got these little uh, rubber dampeners to get rid of any jello effect. I haven't seen maybe the tiniest hint of a jello effect in some shots, but other than that, I haven't been able to spot any of it. It just looks rock solid. It's crazy good. As you can see, I've already marked it up, you know, my name, my phone number, which I've taped up so you can't see it. It's kind of granted, if you have anybody that's trying to fly one of these and not reading the manual and not sitting up properly and not being safe about it, yeah, there's a good chance it's gonna fly away, crash, or otherwise get damaged, and it's really not the company's fault. Here's the remote control, which I also taped up because I like taping things up. Uh, another little thing they didn't add is uh, they have the loop here for an aircraft, uh, lanyard to hold on your neck so you get the weight off and they didn't include that but I have a bunch of those lying around so I just clipped one in. Uh, the remote itself though is pretty darn well refined. The one thing about the gimbal is that you can only point it up and down if you want to pan left to right you got to do that with the craft itself. I should also point out this is I actually did point out this is my first craft. I am a complete novice at flying although I do own a bird. You have the modes to switch between the GPS altitude mode and then the like, F forward facing, or that's the mode so headless, I think a lot of people refer to it as. So wherever you are or where your home point is, that's where it'll consider the front to back. So you can easily gain you know, your directional awareness again. Because that's the most challenging thing for me as a novice flyer, is you, know, you turn the craft pointed one way and then you gotta readjust in your mind which way is left, which way is right, and all that. You can obviously use the great included app, which my phone is somewhere. Did you do my phone? No. The app, which is great, obviously you can fly it first person viewer. It's full, you know, it's a 720, nice clear image if you got a proper tablet or device. And right now I need to build a sunshade or get a bigger tablet for both those things to even be able to see that clearly on a sunny day. But having all the different stuff in the app to control is awesome. Full 4K, it looks beautiful. Uh, you got a playback button here, I don't, haven't even used that yet. Uh, take a picture button, start and stop video button. And the overall, it just, it feels really nice. Oh, my one complaint with it is that, I don't know if it's a complaint anymore. It's, you know, it's a rechargeable battery inside. I would prefer double A's. It's got plenty of rechargeable double A's. But as it is, this thing weighs a lot. At, and I guess that's because it's got a big chunky battery in there. I have flown it a number of times, I guess for uh, maybe about an hour, 40 minutes or so, and it looks like I've got still four out of the, or three out of the four bars left. So it's a pretty chunky battery in there. It looks like it's meant to last at least a full day of flying if you've got that many batteries. Which is another thing, I ordered the spare battery, hasn't come yet, so I guess they're still trying to catch up. Nice that they got this big button here, that's the return to home button. That's a problem that a lot of people had, is that they wouldn't wait for proper GPS locks, so the machine knows where home is, they would press the home button, it doesn't know where home is, so you're dead in the water. And you'll see in the videos I'm wearing this crazy uh, high visibility like construction style vest. Uh, you, you're not required to wear that while flying. As a hobbyist you're allowed to fly this within the rules 
um, you know, all you like. But if you want to fly professionally, you legally cannot at the moment. The FAA has proposed what the rules may end up being, but until then, you can't fly commercially, meaning you cannot get paid to fly one of these things and take video or stills unless you're exempted by the FAA. So I want to uh, apply for that. Since I'm not a licensed pilot, I wanna do everything I can to show that I'm flying as safely and diligently as possible, including logbook for every flight, noting down stuff. It's you know a checklist for have you set things up properly and all that. So yeah, it's uh, a brave new world out there of flying. And thus far, I'm impressed. I actually took it out, the second day I took it out, I did four flights total uh, over the two days. And the second day, I was noting that the weather said 14 mile power wind with 21 mile power gusts. I was concerned about that, it felt pretty breezy. But, you know, went into the middle of the open field, auto took off and took control of it, and wow, it really handled that wind <laughs> impressively. Obviously, the less wind, the better. Don't nibble on me. But, I'm really, I mean, I know that one of the advertised features was upgraded motors for better stability, and it certainly shows. Uh, the other thing is definitely order more batteries when they are available, because you want to get 20 minutes out of them. But I also did one shot, which I was like, oh, let me try doing some shots where I'm moving and adjusting the gimbal. So I did one where I just said, okay, let's bring it up to me, and then go away. So this is Darren Levine. I will update my thoughts as I get more of them. But thus far, looking good for the DJI Phantom Professional 3. 3 Professional. Professional 3. 3 Professional. I love reviewing, and if you have a product or service you would like reviewed, get in touch and I will give it the full run-through.